Welcome to Jared's Bike Check, where motorized bikes are a way of life. Let's get to it. All right, guys. This is the ride I'm going to be taking this weekend. I put the front rack on it. <clears throat> I've added a set of saddlebags that I had made out of two uh, $4 backpacks. Had to bring it in because I'd made it for the motorcycle, so eh, I just sewed it up real quick. Got the Jared's bike check. Let's go, Brandon. Pin it on here. Just for the, you know. Just for, let's go Brandon. All right, so what I'm gonna do, a uh, little change of plans. I got a late start, it's about 11, 30, 12 o'clock right now. And uh, quite a bit of wind, so I'm gonna go down the road about uh, 25 30 miles and go to Choctaw Beach stay overnight on uh, yeah Bay Flats it's the name of the, the place on Eglin Reservation uh, all right let's get to it All right, guys, welcome to Jared's Bike Checks, where motorized bikes are a way of life. Let's get to it. What we've done is we brought y'all to a great, big, mother of all bombs, 44,000 pounds. Let's take a look at it.
All right, so we checked out a 44,000 pound general purpose bomb, because when Jared brings him to you, he drops the bomb. All right, well, welcome to Jared's Bike Check. 
where motorized bikes are a way of life. We're coming to you from uh, Seminole Park, I believe it's called, right here on the Choctawahatchee Bay. Let's go take a look at the bay. Let's go, Brandon. All right, guys, let's keep this show going. translate right here. I'm in a little bit of a hole, thankfully. That's why I stopped. I was trying to get out of the wind so I could eat some lunch. All right, we'll have a little lunch. Ouch! Oh, I hit that concrete thing with my knee. I heard a bunch. Caught that on camera, didn't I? Dang, that hurt. I whacked the shit out of it just then. At the picnic table of all places. I guess if it had to happen somewhere, best it happened while I was sitting down. Ouch. Oh. 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 <laughs> we'll have to find out whether I put that in or not. <laughs> that really smarted. <laughs> I hope my face showed it. So what do we got? We got some tuna in olive oil and some bumblebee tuna. Wraps and some pork rinds. Now they sweet teeth in the house. Well, the reason I ain't going 200 miles today is because uh, 
I had to have a late start this morning, had to do some things around the other house. And uh, I wasn't gonna have time to leave out on time. So I figured I'd just go down to the uh, Bay Flats. Hadn't been there yet with y'all. So we'll take you over there and we'll have a camp out there. I got some sausages, I got some food and uh, I got the ramen bomb. Some baked beans, you know, just some hanging out. More than enough food to just keep on eating and have a good time. I did bring a new knife for this little thingy there. I don't want to lose my work knife, so I sometimes throw in another knife. This one's uh, made by Buck. Made by Buck. That bag has worked out just fine. Haven't had any problems with it yet. I got different bags I ordered from uh, like, I think it's Rock Brothers bags. Uh, a three piece set, you know, two bags and a top bag. We'll see how that goes. I don't got no fixing to put on it. I'm just gonna put some pork rinds right inside of it. That ought to kick it up a notch. It's supposed to be uh, 39 degrees tonight. I guess there's some sort of weird cold front blowing through. It's supposed to be uh, 59 tomorrow night though. And then freaking almost 60 the, during the week. So I got some sort of cold front coming through here. But because it's so beautiful, cars are out, people are out, and we're all having a good time. But this trip right here, I had purchased uh, some new gear on a couple of different things. Brought my underquilt. Brought a few different things this time, just to try to stay warm. As you can see, I'm freaking layered up here. It's not that cold right now, but when you're riding that bike, holy moly, it chills down quick. It's warming up quick right now. If I walked out in that sunshine, I'd start to sweat. I got my bug out bike hat on. I'm sure y'all noticed.
I don't know if I mentioned this, but let's go, Brandon. Motorized bicycle overnighter. All right, guys, well, we have found a spot. It's uh, down a little road, but we're not too far away from the main road, but we're far enough that they've gotten very quiet now. You can barely hear them. Well, I can still hear them pretty good. But this spot's got a lot to offer. It's high. It's dry. It's deep into the tree, so I won't get no kind of cold look at this spot right here i don't know who just cleared this out but i mean how can that that not be me let's try this little tree right here see how strong it is oh yeah no that's a good that's a good one. put a big ass fire right here winds will be coming from the north there's all kind of light or not, and just free wood already laying on the ground. That's what I like about it. No work wood. I mean, no work. Man, I just...
Fuck, there's two Nightwoods right there. Boom, boom. See, I, I can't help but stay here. I already got Nightwood lined up. Look at that one. That's a solid oak. That's a hell of a Nightwood. Look at all the big worms underneath it. The size of that beetle. Old pine boar beetle.